Hey everybody and welcome to another embroidery digitizing video. I am Sue from OML Embroidery and this is Don. Say hi Don. Hello. Hello. He's waving hopefully. Uh, for Also from OML Embroidery. Uh, sponsored by OMLpatches.com. So today we have a part two of the video from yesterday. I forgot to add a few things in. It must have been Monday or something. And we're going to, a few questions came up and we're going to answer those questions. So let's get on with it. So yesterday we were talking about bringing in ready-made fonts, and I don't mean the TTF fonts, I mean the fonts that you've bought and they're all separate files. And if you haven't watched the first video, go grab it so then you know what I'm talking about, and then come back and we'll continue on. We are working in editor, not studio, editor. And we discovered yesterday, we talked about there's three different font options. So that is the Embered pre-digitized fonts, these ones are the true type fonts, which means the fonts that you have on your computer, you can convert them into um, embroidery fonts. They are not as good as those, but they're still pretty good depending on what they are. And then we looked at this one yesterday and I showed you guys, let's click on it, and I showed you guys how to bring the fonts in. So we do the plus sign and I showed you yesterday to bring it into the folder and do a txt file. And so that's the, this button, add folder. And then when you get everything done, you can, uh, sorry, that's one way is add folder. And then if you do the txt file, you can add text or zip file. Now I pointed out yesterday, when you add folder, you get um, a little bit of a messed up result. And I'm going to show you this with the fire font that I bought something like 10 years ago. Um, still looks cool, but hard to use. So if you don't use this method, the only other, other way of doing it, um, because these are all separate files, each one is a PES file, you would have to bring them in and merge. And we're trying to make things faster because you can just simply type and the font will come up. However, when you add folder, look at this, you can see 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 are fine. So when you type the number 9, you will get the number 9. Uh, for this one, A is okay. B, you have to type in quotes to get B. Well, that kind of sucks. We don't want that, do we? No. Um, so this is, I found it easier to move all the files to the alphabet file and create a simple TXT file. Um, it took me five minutes. I forgot to mention yesterday that there's um, another way of doing it and you might find this faster or easier or not, you can still do it the TXT file. It's whatever you prefer. I forgot to say it yesterday. So I'm going to show you how to do it. So if you're not prepared to do the TXT file, this is this is what you can do. Now, of course, you can leave it like this and look and you type, you know, a bracket for I, but it's, it's not really convenient. And we're trying to do this to make your work faster. So you right click on it. So that was the letter B. And all you have to do is click on here what you want to do. There's going to be a lot of clicking for the whole alphabets, but then again, there's a lot of typing for the TXT file, right? So small b, big b, and that's what you do, and it's going to take a minute to change it. So this may or may not be more time consuming. It most certainly is easy. So again, just right click. This is the capital letter C, and you just click and wait for it. You could be watching a movie maybe over here while you're doing this. Uh, it's easy, it's just gonna take you a few minutes to do it. Again, however, uh, you just have to do it once and then it's all done. So either way, txt file, click on it, um, thanks for pointing that out, whoever commented on it. I appreciate that. I totally forgot. Now, the other thing I'd like to point out, we've had um, a couple questions about it. Someone asked if we want to make this into something different, change, because each letter is separate. So if we take this and move it into Studio, can we change it whenever we want? Okay, the answer is yes, you can take this into Studio. 
but it doesn't make it an EOF file. These are all separate stitch files. If you remember when we talked about it yesterday, I showed you on the list, this is capital E dot PES, capital M dot PES. They're all separate files. So even if you take a stitch file, which is a PES file, into Studio, um, and I can show you how to do that really quickly, you go Edit, and then edit stitch file in studio you'd have to click on everything that's how you get it into studio but even if you do that it is still a stitch file it's not an EOF file what does that mean that means you have limited editing so you can make the the designs a little bit bigger and a little bit smaller but you're going to be introducing errors it won't compensate for it you see I made that one a lot bigger and this is a problem that's a problem that's a problem that's a problem that's going to show up so you can change the size just be really careful let's go smaller be really careful of your density because it doesn't adjust for the density and look what happened there so wow that's a mess so let's undo that because I don't even, oh, let's undo it again because I don't even want to look at that. And that's way too big, so I don't want to look at that either. So just remember these are all stitch files and you don't want to make too many adjustments to them. And if you do make adjustments, make sure you check your density map. And that's pretty good. It's mostly green, mostly green. Um, and check your x-ray. So let me show that to you. I'm going to take this R and let's make it really small. Do you see how the color changes? Now watch that. That is not going to stitch out very well, you can see. And then if you're making it so big, look how the density changes. That's not nearly dense enough. And you can see that very clearly. So that's a good way to see how much you can change it. So I wouldn't even go that far. I would do it maybe a little bit but 20 percent you can do it yes i know thank you but see that's even getting a little bit dense in there and that's not a whole lot smaller it is smaller because it was up to here so that's me a few percent smaller but keep an eye on it let's go back to normal or 3d and you can see how much smaller that is um so remember these are stitch files we're just making it really convenient for you to be able to bring them in without merging them one by one. You can simply type out the letters and go, but still don't forget what they are. They're not native EOF. You can't resize them. Um, you can resize them a little bit, but keep an eye on the density and the mistakes and really look at them before you send them to your machine. Same with any stitch file that you bring into here. Just keep an eye on them and uh, you can do a little bit, but not a whole lot. Anyways, thank you for watching. Happy digitizing everyone. Remember to keep calm and digitize on and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.